Hey people of VC, it's Andy at Cloudy Milder. I'm going to do a uh, Ramones collection uh, video. In fact, there's going to be two of these. This first one is going to be my complete uh, Ramones and Ramones related uh, CD collection. And I will follow it up with a, uh, a vinyl version uh, shortly. Uh, I don't generally do collection videos for some reason. But um, I've just finished going through cataloging all my CDs. I was finding I was buying duplicates and not realising until I actually put it into the collection. So... Um, I spent a couple of months going through and uh, making a note of everything on uh, my um, my uh, music database and um, I realised I've got, I think it's around 45 Ramones related uh, CDs so I'm going to go through them fairly quickly, I'm not going to go into de in depth or anything, the history of the Ramones or anything like that, this is pretty much a, a show and tell. I might go through some favourite tracks and things but uh, We'll keep it light and hopefully we'll get through this fairly quickly and you'll stick with me. So we'll we'll start at the beginning. We'll kind of go through chronological order and when these things were, were released. So um, the first Ramones album, self-titled, uh, originally released in 1976. This is a, a Rhino Records uh, 2001 remaster. It has, uh, what, seven? Eight bonus tracks on single versions and mostly uh, demos. Don't know if that will focus. Um, and all the Rhinos records uh, reissues of the Ramones have this sort of sire label uh, rep replica uh, CD cover. So um, every song there is a classic. It's difficult to pick out a favourite. As is uh, the 1977. Uh, second album they produced which was Leave Home. Again this is a 2001 Rhino uh, reissue and this one is packed full of extras. In fact all the extras are, uh, it's a whole live show. This is from uh, the Roxy Hollywood, California, 12th of August 1976. Uh, the booklets in these Rhino reissues are actually pretty good. They're not, they're not too long, they've got some great pictures and a good uh, brief history of the band around the time that the album was um, released. Album number three, Rocket to Russia. I spent a long time um, putting my CDs in these and now I hate them. So every time I take a CD out now, that goes in the bin. Uh, just too much hassle getting them out. Um, yep, so Rocket to Russia, this is a pretty... Um, basic version release of the CD. The cover is clearly uh, uh, copied and shrunk down from the vinyl version so it's absolutely impossible to read. Um, well, so 1977 as well, second album they uh, released in that time but this version is from 1999. It has an old CD because it's got a nice shiny CD and uh, pretty much just uh, lyrics in the, the booklets. Uh, I do also have the uh, Rhino release on this one. A few of these now, you'll see some duplicates. Um, I generally on CD don't pick up multiple pressings, but uh, with the Ramones and with the uh, some of the great uh, bonus tracks, there's only five on this one. Um, I, I think they're worthwhile because some of the bonus tracks are excellent. There's some really good versions of songs and some songs that haven't been on release on any of the albums before. Uh, so the bonus tracks on here are demos, single versions, and this is the last album that we had uh, Tommy Ramone on drums before he moved upstairs and uh, basically uh, did a lot of uh, production work uh, for subsequent albums. So coming on to drums for the fourth release was uh, Marky Ramone and this is Road to Ruin, again another great album. I've not really mentioned songs in the first three albums because all the first three albums are 10 out of 10, absolutely fantastic stuff. But on here Again, a, a great album. Uh, but songs like She's the One, um, I Want to Be Sedated, I Just Want to Have Something to Do. Real classic 70s Ramones songs. Both tracks on here are a couple of Ed Stasium versions who uh, produced this with uh, Tommy Ramone. A, um, a, a live medley of Blitzkrieg Bop, Teenage Robot V, California Sun, Pinhead and She's the One. And a couple of non-album tracks, uh, Come Back She Cried, aka I Walk Out and uh, Yeah Yeah demo versions. Road to Ruin. 
next after album after that was the uh, absolutely superb live album uh, it's alive from 1979 this is a 1990 release so despite this coming out uh, after uh, Road to Room with Marky Ramone on we've got uh, Tommy Ramone on drums because this is a set taken with what from 1977 I believe um, I thought I'd written down which show it was but uh, could I didn't but it is one of the best live albums of all time so quite an early CD as well given the uh, shiny CD case the the booklet on this is just literally live shots a lot like uh, this one here uh, very very no frills as a lot of the CDs were in the 90s uh, after that this isn't officially a Ramones album but in 79 uh, Ramones uh, starred in a film called Rock and Roll High School so here we have the uh, the, the soundtrack uh, they have a few songs on here themselves you know the original motion picture soundtrack um, oh, and um, yeah so their songs included what uh, Rock and Roll High School I, I Want You Around um, Come On Let's Go a um, a song with the Paley Brothers, uh, then a medley of Blitzkrieg Bop, Tears of Bossy, California Sun, Pinhead, and She's the One. I think that's from the live section of the, uh, the that they had on the, the movie. But then there's other songs on here by Nick Lowe, Brian Eno, PJ Souls, Devo, Eddie and the Hot Rods, Brownsville Station, Chuck Berry, Todd Rundgren, and uh, Alice Cooper. School's out, of course. Uh, what other Alice Cooper song could it be on uh, a film like Rock and Roll High School? It's a good movie. It's well. I say it's a good movie. It's a, it's a, it's a very uh, basic movie, but it, it's fun nonetheless, especially if you're a Ramones fan. So after 1979, we we enter into the 80s. Now I think a lot of people's appreciation appreciation of the Ramones only really stretches for the, maybe the first four studio albums and the It's Alive live album. After the 1980s, I think you'd struggle to find too many people who say their favourite Ramones album comes from the 80s or 90s, but I think they released some absolutely fantastic stuff in the uh, in the 80s, uh, certainly. Um, however, this was quite a, a departure. So this is the album that was produced by uh, Phil Spector. And so it's a real departure from the, the, the norm. Um, songs like I'm Affected, um, Baby I Love You, I think it's a cover version, um, All The Way. But but even, even the other songs that... Don't sound, they sound a lot more kind of melodic for Ramon songs like um, High Risk Insurance and uh, uh, Do You Remember Rock and Roll Radio and, and Danny Says. I mean, they're, they're absolutely Ramon songs, but they're just not the raw uh, one, two, three, four Ramon songs of uh, the, the 70s. This was the one where they went, I think they went with Full Spectre because they wanted to really make it big. I also have the uh, the Rhino. Uh, records reissue uh, this time from 2002 uh, bonus tracks on here are mainly demos but the only song that um, is a demo that isn't on the album is a song called uh, please don't leave and uh, there we go the rose I didn't show not that it matters but I didn't show that's the uh, original sort of CD so this is a 1994 release uh, vanilla version and then the 2002 Rhino Records release 1981 saw the release of um, Pleasant Dreams and uh, yeah oh I do have two versions of that so I have the uh, vanilla uh, press from 1994 uh, again, some great songs on here. We Want the Airwaves, uh, KKK Took My Baby Away, um, You Sound Like You're Sick, uh, She's a Sensation, 7 Eleven. This is a, a killer, killer 80s Ramon album. Um, sitting in my room as well. So, really, really cool stuff. There's the uh, CD as well. And the, uh, the Rhinos, uh, Rhino uh, Records release, I don't have a slipcase for this one, unfortunately. It didn't used to bother me until I got so many that did have a slipcase on, so um, would I upgrade? I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, so the Rhino Records release from uh, 2002. Good selection of um, non-album demo bonus tracks 
on this one. I was listening to this one last night. Um, yeah, especially so track 13, which is touring the demo version. Now that song actually appeared on Mondo Bizarro about 11 years later. Um, but uh, Chop Suey, uh, Sleeping Troubles, Kicks to Try, I'm Not an Answer, and Stairs in This Town, all songs that didn't appear on other Ramones albums. So that is a great one with uh, bonus tracks that's worth getting. After that, um, we had Subterranean Jungle. Uh, I've got my CD, oh, just put this back in the wrong window. So I just have the one version of uh, Subterranean Jungle, which was released in 83. Yep. And this is a 1994 pressing. Uh, the cracks are beginning to show in the band at this point. It's probably one of their weakest albums. Still some good songs on here. I mean, outside their psychotherapy, great, great songs. And uh, every time I eat vegetables, it makes me think of you. How could you not like a song? with that title but it does have three cover versions on here as well uh, a little bit of soul i need your love and um uh, time has come today so uh, and also this was marky ramon's exit from the band as you can see on on here he was he was kind of shoved to the side and uh and got kicked out of the band i think it was due to his uh, alcoholism uh sorry but it's the cd as well um, that is the only version of that one, as I said. Um, so Marky Ramone's after the band. Richie Ramone then joins in, and he kind of gives um, a whole breath of fresh air to the Ramones, and they come back absolutely fighting with uh, Too Tough to Die, which was the first Ramones album I ever heard, and it was on a, a school trip. Uh, one of my friends put the cassette in to the communal... Um, uh, they had like a, a, a cassette player. It was like a residential geography trip with all these different schools. He walked up, he took out what was on the thing. Um, people stopped dancing and just stuck in Too Tough to Die. And I thought, wow, who is this band? This is brilliant. So again, I have the Vanilla and the Rhino Records release. Here we have the... Uh, this is a 1989 uh, pressing, actually. One of the oldest uh, pressings I have on CD. Uh, which is fitting because... Um, to say it was one of the first records I heard, uh, remote albums I heard in the 80s. Track listing, uh, we've got Mama's Boy, uh, Too Tough to Die, Durango uh, 95, which they use as an intro for a lot of their live songs. Warthog is probably the best uh, DD Ramon um, fronted song, uh, absolutely uh, fantastic. Uh, Howling at the Moon, uh, Humankind as well, and Endless Vacation is uh, also you know, just a brilliant uh, D.D. Ramon's uh, vocals. Uh, nice uh, silver 80s CD. And um, again, I don't have the slipcase for this one, but some pretty cool uh, bonus tracks on here. I think there's 12 in all. Uh, it includes a, a number of um, demo versions of songs on the album that on the album, they're sung by. That's not going to focus. They're sung by uh, Joey Ramone, but in the demos, they're sung by uh, Dee Dee as well. So, um, uh, what do we have here? We have Planet Earth 1988, uh, Danger Zone, and Too Tough to Die. Uh, demo versions also with uh, Dee Dee Ramone on vocals. Fantastic album, and that's a great. Uh, certainly for the metalheads out there, Too Tough to Die is a great introduction to the Ramones. Um, not the sort of the raw 70s punky sound um but um if you had to say ramones did a sort of an album that was closer to metal it's probably too tough to die although it's absolutely not a metal album at all uh then we move on to 1985 and this is probably the earliest ramones pressing i have on cd and that is uh animal boy uh although i did pick it up second hand of another cd player in 1986 Again, with a lineup of uh, Joey, Johnny, Dee Dee, and uh, Richie. Um, Richie Ramon was actually the first drummer uh, to um, write songs on, uh, uh, actually credited with writing songs on uh, Ramon's albums as well. But on here, I mean, uh, Eight Man Hop, uh, even, even, even like the softer songs like Crummy Stuff and She Belongs to Me. Um, My Brain is Hanging Upside Down, Bonza Goes to Bitburg uh, was on here. Uh, is the tribute to uh, Sid and Nancy, Love Kills. 
Um, fantastic album, absolutely uh, brilliant. 80s Ramones. Um, difficult to choose a favourite in the 80s, but that is certainly high up there. Um, so after Animal Boy, um, now this one. This is a, a Grail on CD. Um, it's still a Grail on CD because I'm pretty sure that this is a counterfeit. It's very, very difficult to come across, and I found a um, a sealed copy um, for about ten quid, which is less than they normally go for. And uh, to be honest with you, it looks like a I mean, the CDs. You can actually see through it and it looks like a CDR. Printing quality is not great. The paper quality is actually far too good for a, uh, a, a release in 1987. It sounds alright. It'll do as a placeholder, but I would love to get an original version of Halfway to Santi. It's one of the few Ramones CDs that has uh, not had a uh, proper reissue, remaster, or anything like that. But oh, for the songs on here that I think are great, uh, I mean, it's got I Wanna Live, Box of You Drop, Weasel Face, Go Little Camaro Go, um, Worm Man. I mean, it's, it's great. It's a uh, killer 80s Ramones. Um, first Ramones album I ever bought was a compilation and it's on vinyl and you'll see it in the next video but uh, I have got a CD version of it as well and that is a Ramones Mania also I think the title of this uh, video unless I've changed my mind since recording this um, this is a fantastic compilation uh, absolutely a brilliant it contains songs off all previous I think 10 Ramones albums it's also got a um, Indian Giver on here as well, which um, bizarrely isn't a great hit. It was a B-side of on a UK uh, single only, I think. But um, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Thirty tracks uh, spanning all the eras, and uh, it's in the uh, CD player right now. There you go, Ramones Mania. Now, 1989 was the first time since I got into the Ramones that they released a, uh, a new album. And we had uh, said bye-bye uh, to uh, D.D. Ramone after this one. And it is 1989's Brain Drain. Um, I'm not too sure of the pressing for this one, but I'm guessing it's probably 1989 uh, as well. In fact, is there something on the CD? There we go. Um, but uh, I couldn't match the all the, um, the run-out numbers or whatever to, to what was in Discog, so I don't know if it's a slightly different variation or a, a reissue, but it's certainly a uh, uh, an old press, as you can tell from the silver CD. Um, absolutely minimal uh, booklet with the lyrics for just the lyrics for uh, Pet Cemetery, which was obviously the Stephen King film that was out at the time that uh, Ramones had a, a song or two on the score. But um, yeah, so I, I believe in miracles, zero zero UFO, don't bust my chops, Persian fits the crime. These are Palisades Park, great song. Pet Cemetery is a, probably one. One of the weakest songs on there, I, yeah, I don't know, but uh, ignorance is bliss. Um, this is this absolutely fantastic way for the Ramones to end the uh, the eighties. And uh, although they were never big, even less big <laughs> than the the seventies, they they still put out some fantastic material, and it shouldn't be as overlooked as it is. But we say goodbye to uh, D.D. Ramon, but before we, we move into the uh, CJ era, uh, we've got uh, all the stuff and more. Now this is a compilation album. Uh, it, in total it has 33 tracks. It's on a, a single CD, but it is the... Um, so this was released in 1990, this is a 1990 press. Uh, it is basically the first two albums, uh, start to finish, with additional demos. I've not double checked, but I'm pretty sure the demos on here are probably similar to the ones that are on the remasters. But uh, yeah, so it's the, basically the first two albums on one CD with bonus tracks. Uh, also in 1990, our introduction to uh, CJ was on the uh, Loco live album, the second official live album from uh, the Ramones, and this is a a great mix of uh, 70s and uh, 80s Ramones tracks. Um, most of the Ramones 
live albums that you see, a lot of the bootlegs that are now maybe official releases as well, tend to focus on around the 76, 77, 78 period. And I can kind of understand why, but I wish there would be more uh, from the uh, sort of the 80s and 90s period that would get uh, get published as well. We have the uh, CD in uh, silver chrysalis CD, uh, but really, really good live album. Um, what do we have next? All the stuff and more. Volume 2. Um, volume 1 was the first two albums. This is the third and fourth album. So Rocket to Russia and um, Road to Ruin in the entirety with uh, a few more um, couple of bonus tracks uh, tagged on the end. Now this was difficult to, to get hold of. I think this is US and uh, Canada and possibly Japan releases only. There wasn't a UK uh, edition of this one, but I uh, was stoked to finally get that in the collection. Now, uh, 1992, back in the studio and the release of um, Mondo Bizarro. Now this is a 2004 uh, reissue and um, as well as it having the 13 tracks featuring uh, touring track 13, it also has the uh, Ramones version of Spider-Man, which I absolutely uh, love. So you have the uh, CD, there's uh, CJ, a little bit blurred there, and uh, CD as well. So, excellent album. Um, the Job That Ate My Brain, Poison Heart, uh, Anxiety, Strength to Endure. Now, a lot of these songs were still being written by uh, D.D. Ramone. He still needed his money, probably, for uh, uh, the purposes which ended up killing him. But um, he was still, as much as he wanted to lead the Ramones, I read, read his autobiography. It's quite a fascinating. Uh, difficult to understand how he quite remembered all that stuff. But uh, he did kind of feel that he wanted to break for the Ramones, but he couldn't get away from them because he kept having, having to write songs for them in order to uh, get... Um, uh, keep getting some income coming in. Uh, main Man, Tomorrow She Goes Away, It Won't Happen, Cabbies on Crack, uh, Touring, Highly Zephyr Case. Again, a phenomenal Ramones album, vastly overlooked. Certainly the 90s, even more than the, uh, the 80s. And from this album, I also have a um, the Poison Heart CD. Now, back in the early, what, 90s, the big I call it a gimmick, was to have um, two CD sets for CD singles. So this is CD1, and then it would come in a dual case where you could put CD2, and this is a placeholder for CD2. Um, I wonder how many people bought CD2 and then uh, threw away the box and uh, stuck uh, CD2 in CD1. Uh, I think from a collector's point of view, I'm pretty sure people would want to kind of Keep both so probably mostly just a waste of uh, plastic but uh, on here we've got a couple of uh, bonus tracks and some of them uh, from BBC Scotland in uh, 92 so nice little uh, CD single set the only CD singles I have from the Ramones um, ooh, it takes a while to get through 45 CDs isn't it Okay, let's move on to uh, Acid Eaters. Acid Eaters, 1994. Uh, this is a 2001 press. Uh, this was their covers album. Um, I'm not going to go through what all the covers were, but uh, there's some really good covers on here and some I don't like uh, so much. But um, it's a it's a it's probably one just for the collectors more than anything else. Uh, after Acid Eaters, uh, a non-official album, this is from 1995, and this is uh, Blitzkrieg Bop, Pop, sorry, it's a, it's a dual um, CD case, it has, a, it's from a 1977, uh, 1979 uh, show, I'm not exactly sure which one it is, it has what, 13, 12 tracks, and there's a video CD and a CD version of it as well. That's the old kind of collector's piece. I don't think I've ever actually played the video CD on that. I don't think I've had a computer crap enough to play it on, to be honest with you, uh, since I picked it up. Um, final 
uh, studio album. Adios Amigos, 1995, and this I bought in 1995. Um, again, some good good songs. Uh, I don't want to grow up. Life's a gas. Uh, Cretan Family, Scattergun is is great. Um, uh, she talks to rainbows. It also has Making Monsters for My Friends, which is a Dee Dee Ramone song, which uh, features on one of his uh, solo albums uh, coming up. But still, a they were still checking out some good tunes. I, I can't follow that album. I think it's really, really good. Uh, they followed that up in 1996. Uh, generally, you know, everything after 95 is going to be either live albums or uh, cash-in compilations, and people like me, they cash in quite easily from. So we have uh, Ramon's uh, Greatest Hits Live. Uh, this is recorded at the uh, Academy, New York, in uh, 1995. 96 so again some great uh, great to see uh, some of the newer tracks on there um, with uh, CJ on as well the official final album I guess um, Ramones were out of here this is as it says the last show um, this is a vinyl grail this is probably well this is a massive vinyl grail very very difficult to come hold of and if i could get a copy of this on vinyl i would be a very very happy man it is their 2263rd and final show recorded on 6th of august 1996 at the palace los angeles and features uh, guest appearances from not only lemmy singing his uh, the song he wrote for the moons which is obviously uh, r-a-m-o-n-e-s uh killer killer song um Obviously, a band very, very dear to Lemmy's heart, and uh, Dee Dee also makes an appearance uh, as well. So it's good that uh, he played in the, the final show as well. And a uh, bit of trivia: it's the only Ramon CD that has a parental advisory uh, sticker on it because uh, Joey has a bit of a swear all the way through between the songs. Moving on to 1999, um, they released the uh, Anthology, which is a 58-track 2CD uh, compilation. A uh, little box set with uh, see, uh, two CDs, pink and black, and uh, black and pink, featuring tracks from all of the albums. And it also comes with a really, really nice um, hardback uh, book with obviously the, uh, the history of the, the Ramones and some great pictures throughout it. Uh, again, a great introduction. And uh, if you're somebody who is not going to dive in, this would be probably all that you would need. Um, what do we have next? Okay, so a shameless cash-in, this one I feel. And uh, this is the... Uh, this is the CD that prompted me to do cataloging because I ended up with uh, two copies of that knowing. Um, this is the best of the Chrysalis years. Now, given um, the Ramones Chrysalis career uh, only lasted one live album, one studio album, one covers album, it's a bit of a lame uh, cash in. So I would probably avoid that one. Um, Ramones Mania 2, this is a, a Japanese only release and um, all this has been missing is the Obi and it's probably the CD that is worth, worth the most in this collection. It's currently going for around £25 in this condition um, on, uh, on Discogs. as a, a re-sticker sheet, a uh, Japanese um, lyric sheet, I guess. I don't know. And there's the... Uh, the CD and this uh, comprises of uh, songs pretty much from the uh, the CJ era of the band. Uh, great, great compilation. Um, now we're going to move on to some live albums and bootlegs. Um, classic Airways, you can pick this up dirt cheap. Uh, not for sale in the USA. Uh, it contains tracks from US Festival, uh, August, uh, March '82, and uh, some tracks from the uh, uh, Tomorrow Show. I guess that's an American thing in '81. 
Now we have to be careful, certainly with early Ramon shows. Uh, there's a lot of shows that are repeated. Uh, these are actually exactly the same show, exactly the same CD, but two different pressings. Uh, I'm not collecting this show. I bought this one, not knowing it was exactly the same show as this one. Again, another reason why I need to um, uh, catalog these. So this is uh, January the 7th, 1978, at the Palladium, New York City. This is the King Biscuit uh, Flower Hour Archive Series Edition. And this is the uh, Sanctuary uh, Midline uh, Edition. Uh, 27 uh, great songs from 1977. Um, 2015 release, Eaten Alive. Uh, again, this is uh, another um, uh, show from 1977, November. This time, uh, what, 18, 18 songs, and then uh, two um, interviews. Um, one with Joey Ramon, uh, it's 10 minutes long, and one with uh, the whole band that's 10 minutes long as well. I got this as a VCLT from Greg Yeg, so that was really cool. And the last uh, Ramones CD, and the newest one, this is from 2016, is uh, another live show. This is more of a bootleg quality. Uh, My Father's Place from 1982. Um, it's got Richard Ramone in the picture, and he would have been in the band in, in 82, but all the write up inside, it's a double CD, all the write up inside is just talking about Marky Ramone's uh, um, failing relationship with the band. So there we go. The next bunch we have are solo albums that I have on uh, CD. We'll go through these fairly quickly. Uh, two from Joey Ramone, both of them. Um, I really think were released posthumously. Uh, the first being uh, Don't Worry About Me from 2002. This was the year after he died. Um, very, very different pace from the Ramones, but still you know, very, very... Oh yeah, it sounds like Jimmy Ramone. It is Jimmy Ramone. And then from 2012, this is a Yeno. And uh, this is a collection of uh, demos that were originally recorded by Joey uh, with overdubs from uh, his musician friends. Um, so there we go. Then I've uh, got a couple from DD. Um, these are just found out are actually worth quite a bit. So this is DD Ramon ICLC. I hate freaks like you. And it has the, uh, as mentioned before, it has the song uh, Making Monsters from My Friends that was on Adios Amigos. Um, all is quite on the eastern front. Um, I'm seeing strawberries again. I'm making monsters for my friends. Uh, Chinese bitch. It's it's a good song. It's it's quite raw. Um, this one is a, a little less raw, um, but still ain't it fun. Uh, from 1997, actually has Marky Ramon on drums and uh, Daniel Ray, who uh, produced a lot of the later Ramones albums, on guitar. Joe Ramone makes an appearance on one of the songs on here as well. Uh, this is a UK pressing. Um, it was also released in Canada, but it was released under the name of a Zonked. So there we go. Um, as a segue, before we get to Marky Ramon, um, I've got two copies of this. Um, one of them, I, again, I have from Greg the Egg. This is uh, The Remains, and this is uh, Dee Dee and Marky Ramon doing a show in New York uh, City. Um, this was released in, what, 2002. It has 21 uh, tracks on it, and it's... Uh, Pretty good. And a few more. Nearly done. Uh, Marky Ramon, second Ramones drummer, uh, has had quite a good career. He's still going around touring now, doing a lot of Ramones uh, related uh, uh, equipment. But this is his solo, solo, room, solo album, Marky Ramon and the Intruders. This is a killer. It's absolutely uh, brilliant. Um, can't take it with you. I want my beer. Coward with a gun. Um, Three cheers for you. Uh, anxiety. Um, that's a Ramon song, isn't it? Um, Better Things. Great, great album. Definitely worth uh, checking out. Probably one of my favourite of all the solo albums. And then, uh, thank you to, to Greg as well. I've got uh, this Marky Ramon Start of the Century. This is a, uh, an anthology or uh, punkthology, as it says at the side. And again, this is a lot of stuff from uh, this album. But also um, a lot, a lot, lot more. I think he's got another album as well, so maybe just a 
and like an anthology of the two albums and uh, it's a double album set and disc uh, two is a uh, one of his uh, live shows where he is doing I've just noticed it's M and uh, R, I haven't noticed that before um, disc two is when he is obviously doing one of his uh, shows so there is uh, pretty much all Ramones songs on uh, disc two and we're at the end, you'll be pleased to, to, to hear. Uh, thank you for sticking with me if you have. Um, despite only being in the band for three albums, Richie Ramone, uh, he was, I think he was kicked out because he was asking for, for more money, he just wanted to have a, uh, a share of the uh, the t-shirt sales. Um, I know this because he, uh, I've seen Richie Ramone a couple of times in Edinburgh and uh, he's great to see live and uh, he's got some great stories to tell about the Ramones and he, He's got some good solo material, but he also it's great to hear uh, a Ramon churn out some of the old classic Ramones uh, songs as well. So this is my signed copy of uh, Entitled for a song at Edinburgh. Um, so he's got, again, mostly solo stuff, but uh, he's got a couple of songs that he wrote for the Ramones, like Smash You and um, I'm Not Jesus and Humankind. Uh, so there we go. So that, people, is my entire Ramones CD collection. Um, 44, 45 CDs in 36 minutes. It's long, but less than a minute a CD. So there we go. If you're still with me, then let me know your favourite Ramones album down below. Thanks for watching and look out for part two, which will be uh, my final collection. Studio albums obviously be the same, but I've got a few extras in there as well. Very different from these, which uh, you might find interesting. So stay tuned for that. Cheers.